Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to flash the Project Dodge Android Custom ROM on the Geoni eLife E3. So, first of all, we need to have these files. Uh, first up, we need to have this Project Dodge final file itself. So, this is the ROM. Then, we need to have this new Dodge fix zip file. Then, we need to have this new SJ logo. And uh, we need to have this Chinese firmware on our computer. And then, we need to have this SP flash tools. So, we need all these files to uh, flash the ROM. Now, what what I'll do over here is I'll make a folder to keep the stuff organized. So I'll make a folder like this: Geoni Dodge ROM, and I'll cut all these files and paste it over here. Okay. Now what I'll do is uh, I'll connect my phone to the PC. using the data cable provided then I'll, I'll unlock my phone and I'll enable this USB storage so you have to enable this USB storage like this After that, I'll open my computer and I'll open the internal storage of the phone. So this is the internal storage and over here, I'll copy these three files, these three zipped files and paste it over here. And do note that you can find all these files in the description down below. So you can download these files from the description. So after all these files are pasted now just close this window and just disconnect your phone like this so now uh, we'll head on to the phone and we'll start flashing up the ROM so after you have copied those three files now uh, we will power off our phone like this just hold the power button and click on power off so it's shutting down the phone so after the phone has shut down uh, just hold the volume up and the power button at the same time so you have to hold it like this just press and hold it and when you see this logo just leave that now as you can see over here we are in the clockwood mod recovery so what we need to do over here is uh, first of all the volume up button acts as and uh, the volume button act as and navigation keys so volume up for up volume down for down and the power button act as a selection ok key so what you need to do is uh, just press the volume down key until you highlight this wipe data and factory reset now press the power button and again scroll down until you highlight this yes and then press the power button again so it will wipe the data and factory reset now again scroll down until you see wipe cache partition partition now just press the power button and select yes wipe cache then again scroll down until you highlight mounts and storage again press the power button over here then just scroll down until you see format system until you highlight this format system and then press the power button again and scroll down and yes format press the power button so it will format the system like this now go back 
press the volume up key and go back press the power button now uh, over here go to advanced press the power button and select wipe dalvik cache press the power button and yes then again press the power button go back press the power button and now install zip from SD card now again press the power button over here then choose zip from SD card press the power button and then highlight this project dodge final zip press the power button again yes install the project uh, dodge final zip press the power button and it will start installing the ROM so as you can see the ROM is currently installing now hit on next 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 now it's installing the ROM so it can take some time so it's done installing the ROM now again press next and finish now over here as you can see highlight on go back sorry again uh, highlight on choose zip from SD card internal SD card and press the power button and then scroll down until you highlight new dodge fix dot zip and press the power button again yes install new dodge fix dot zip press the power button so after it's done go back press the power button and again highlight this power off and press the power button so now let's head on to the PC so now our phone is currently switched off now what we'll do is we'll open this SP flash tools right click on this flash tool and run as administrator yes then over here in this SP flash tool window click here on click here on scatter loading option then uh, go to this Chinese firmware over here uh, Gioni E3 Dodge Dodge ROM Chinese firmware and select this MT6589 Android Scatter EMMC and click on open now over here what we need to do is uncheck all these first of all just uncheck all these now after you have unchecked all these scroll up and just check this boot IMG just check this boot IMG okay after you've done that just uh, notice that it's boot dot IMG so just you have to check this boot IMG now after that click on download yes and now it's searching for your phone now what you'll do is note that the phone is currently switched off now what you'll do is connect your phone to the PC like this so when it's done just close it like this and just disconnect your phone now we'll head on to the phone again now again we have to boot our phone into the recovery so to do that uh, we have to press the power button pa uh, sorry the volume up and the power button at the same time and hold it like this so until we see this recovery
now over here I'll just zoom in like this and if you can see over here now uh, we'll scroll down again to install zip from SD card and press the power button then choose zip from internal SD card again we'll press the power button and then uh, over here we'll select new HJ logo and press the power button and select yes install new HJ logo press the power button so after it's done just go back press the power button and select reboot system now and again press the power button so now the phone is rebooting and you can see we have this new boot logo that we just flashed and it looks a lot better than that boot logo here we have this animation so it can take uh, 5 minutes up to 5 minutes to boot for the first time so don't worry it will take up to 5 minutes so I just felt an haptic feedback so that means it is booting up correctly uh, so yes it has booted up now just press start select the language press start and this is the welcome screen and we have successfully flashed the project dodge custom rom now uh, it's telling me to select the wi-fi now i'll just put my password over here so we can set up this gmail but i'll select no not now So as you can see we have successfully flashed up uh, the project Dodge ROM and congratulations and so thanks for watching this video series and thank you again and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks a lot.